All right, so welcome to the practical aspect of um, this class. Yes, for this course, you'll be needing a ruler, a pencil, and eraser, then a sharpener too. You need a sharpener too. So those are the things, basic things that we need for this class. So now, what you can see here is my fashion figure. We call this a croquis. Croquis spells R O C R O Q U I. Like croquis is a fashion figure on which we illustrate our designs on. So the first step in learning how to sketch in fashion illustration is learning how to sketch a croquis because this is where you are going to put your styles, your designs and everything. So this is the first, if you are able to draw this very well, then you should be able to, it is from there that you can draw your styles. So the first step is, we are doing here in this course right now, is learning how to draw a croquis. And I must really confess, it's not as, it's not hard and it's not easy. All you need to do is pay attention and be willing to learn. So now I have quite a number of cookies that I've drawn here. What I do basically most times is I draw them down, I copy them down so that when I have an idea, I just want to quickly sketch. I pick one of this, then I illustrate my designs on them. As you can see, I have a lot of them already. So now, how to draw a cookie. There are two steps in it sketching a croquis. So the first step is building the skeleton part. Yes. First step is building the skeleton part of the croquis. And that's what we're starting with right now. Let me just, okay. So you can use a sketch pad, like I said earlier, a sketch pad, or you just get an A4 paper. So I'm going to get the midpoint of this paper and using my ruler and my pencil I am going to draw a straight line I'm going to draw a straight line like so now while drawing the skeleton part of the croquis you need to understand that your lines has to be very, very thick. But for the purpose of this class, I'm going to make it thick so that you can see what exactly I am doing. But you have to learn to work with faint lines because most of these lines, you are still going to erase them. Also, that you can see what I'm doing, I am going to work with thick lines. Thick lines. Alright, so let's get into it. Now, to draw the skeleton part of the croquis, you need these formulas. Please, if you can adjust now, I don't mind. You need this formula. You can just put it, hide it somewhere in your brain. And all that. So for the first, first step, what you need, you need one, one, half, 18 cm, one. One, one, half, 18 cm, one. What I mean by one one half is from here, from this upper part, from this upper part, from the beginning of the paper, you measure one inch, you mark on that line, you measure another one inch on that line, one one half, then you measure half inch, you mark, then from this half inch, you measure 18 cm. 18 cm then from the 18 cm you measure another one inch so that's what i meant by one one half 18 cm one so the first one the first one that we marked you can name that the starting point i hope you can see i wrote sp the starting point then the second one is the jaw the half is the shoulder line then the 18 cm is the 
ankle. And the last one is the ending point or the toe. So this is the first thing you need to learn. One, one, one half, 18 cm, one. I hope we understand that. Can you see very well? This is what I did, if you can see. So from here, I measured one. From here, I measured one. From here, I measured half inch. One inch. From here, one inch. From here to here, half inch. If you can see the marks. Half inch. Then from the half inch, I measured 18 cm down. See the mark here. And from here, I measured another one inch. So the first one inch is the shoulder point. I labeled it SP. The second one is the jaw line. The third one is the shoulder line. The fourth one is the ankle. And the last one is the ending point or the toe. Do we understand? So that's the first thing you need to do. Hope you've been able to get that. If yes, so let's continue. If yes, let's continue. So like I said, that's the first part. Now the second thing you should do now is so that you don't get confused the second thing you want to do now is from the shoulder point now the second formula i want you to know the second step you need the following 0.7 cm 0.7 cm 0.7 cm then 1.4 cm now we are going to be fixing this thing into here now on the we want to draw out the head part so to draw that the head part from the starting point from here from the first one cm that i marked if you can see it, I'm going to measure 0.7 on one side and 0.7 cm is not inches. 0.7 cm on the other side. So I'm going to form a square. Sorry. 0.7 then 0.7. So, you are going to form this scale or a rectangle for the head part. So, like I said, I'm going to be working with thick lines so that you get to see what exactly I am doing. But please, you need faint lines. Don't make it as thick as I'm making it. Yeah, it says. So, 0.7 here. From the midpoint, if you can see, from here to here 0.7, 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 then you join the lines, if you can see it. Then the next step, from the shoulder line, you are still going to do the same thing, if you can see, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm marking 0.7 again on this line. Then from the 0.7, that's we are on the shoulder line now. So from the 0.7, I am going to mark 1.4 cm. 1.4 cm. See. 0.7. 0.7 and 1.4. Can you see? So I'm going to draw a straight line. So I'm going to make the line. So from here, from here to here, 0.7, from here to here, 1.4. From this place to this place, 0.7, from here to here, 1.4. Then I'm going to come to the... So after I might have done that, we already have our shoulder point, jaw, sorry, the starting point, the jaw, the shoulder line, the ankle, and the toe. The next thing now we want to get the hip, the waist, and the bust. That's the next thing we want to do. We want to get the hip, waist, 
and the bust so to do that we are going to start exactly from yeah from the shoulder line to this ankle like you know it is 18 cm 18 centimeter what you are going to do is you are going to divide this line the 18 cm into three do you get so that means if you are dividing the 18 cm into three that means the first line you have you mark on 6 cm and the second one we have 12 cm so we have one two three from the shoulder line to the ankle do you get it so now the first part here this is where we have our hip see i'm writing at the edge of my paper so you can do something like this you can you can do, use your ruler to trace so that you don't get confused you can use your ruler to trace like so do we understand so this is the hip and the second part is the knee the second part is the knee can you see so we've gotten our hip and our knee so on the hip part too exactly what you did here you are going to do it here exactly what you did on the shoulder line from here you mark 0.7 from here you mark 0.4, from here you mark 0.7. You are going to do it on the hip part too. So I'm just going to do that right now. You mark 0.7. You mark 1.4. You mark 0.7. And you mark 1.4. Then, can you see? These are the marks. Like I said, I'm making it bold so that you get to see it. The lines are supposed to be faint, very faint. At the end of the day, when you finish drawing your cookie, it's supposed to be as faint as this. Do you get? Can you see the difference between this? Can you see how thick this is? Yes. This is thick because I'm using this as a template to draw other ones. So, but this is how your cookie should be at the end of the day. So, you work with very faint lines. So, now... I'm going to connect the lines like I did at the shoulder line. I'm going to connect the line. Can you see? Can you see clearly? Yes. So we have our shoulder points, we have our jaw, we have, sorry, we have our starting points, jaw, the shoulder line. Now we have the hip, we have the knee. The ankle and the toe. Had the knee part, had the knee part is going to be slightly different from what we did here. So, but we are still going to use our 0.7. But here, at the at the knee part, the knee part, we are doing 0.7 and 0.35 cm. So, what I mean by that is that you come to this midpoint again. Like so, you mark your 0.7, like we've always been doing. You mark your 0.7, then on that 0.7, you mark, place your ruler on that 0.7, you mark 0.35, 0.35 out and 0.35 in. 0.35 in. Can you see? So from here we marked 0.7, from here we marked 0.35 out, from here we mark 0.35 in. Do you get it? So you do that on the two sides. You mark 0.7. So from here you mark 0.35 in and 0.35 out. Can you see? So just like we did here, you are still going to connect the lines to just going to I'm sorry that was not straight so I just and like the dots are just guides for our connections you get to see them very soon so remember to make it faint faint lines please can you see? So, 
on our ankle part we also work with 0.7 and 0.35 but this is how we do that on the ankle this is how we do it you measure you measure 0.7 in oh, sorry out then you measure 0.35 in alone you know here we did 0.35 out and 0.35 in but here after i measured 0.7 we are just going to measure 0.35 in alone so on this side so you do the same thing you measure 0.7 then from here you measure 0.35 in alone so here you are going to have two, two lines here you're having three three lines do we get it do you understand so after we have done this the next thing we want to get now is we want to get our bust line the bust line and the on the bust line so the bust line from the shoulder line to the hip place your measurement on the shoulder line to the hip you know we have 6 cm so you are going to divide that into three again so that means you are going to mark from here to here you are going to mark 2 cm do we get it and from the 2 cm you are going to mark another 2 cm so the first line the first line that you marked here is going to be your bust line this is going to be your bust line you really don't need the measurement for that just draw it out do we understand are we getting it is it getting familiar or interesting so after we are done now we can now connect the lines and watch closely now this is what i'm going to do from from the hip part, I'm going to start from the hip part. I'm going to connect to the bust like this. So, see what I'm doing? Like this. So, I'm going to form a triangle like that. So, from the shoulder line, I'm going to connect to the mid part of the hips the mid part of the hip can you see so from the bust line from the mid part of the bust line so this is like an inverted triangle up and down so from the bust part i connected to the edge of the hip like this then from the mid part of the hip i connected to the edge of the shoulder line i hope you can see so can you see that our croquis is forming after that then this just connects the hip just connects to the knee like this it connects the knee like this it's very very easy pay attention connect the knee like this you connect the knee like this then on this part let me move closer so you can see what I'm seeing. Can you see? Can you see? So on the hip, you connect the hip to the knee. Connect the midpoint here to this second one here. Connect the mid one to here. Connect the last part here to the last part here. So the middle line, you leave it. The middle line, you leave it. Do we understand? Are you getting it? So from the bust... From the midline of the bust, connect to the last part of the hip. From the midline of the bust, connect to the last part of the hip. From the mid part of the hip, connect to the last part of the shoulder. From the mid part of the hip, connect to the last part of the shoulder line. So the next one is want to connect from the knee to our ankle. So before you do that, from this knee part, you are going to come back, come out like this just draw that line like that draw like this then you draw like this then you draw like this can you see then this is how you do after you have done that then let me draw a line like this then you connect this from here you connect to this point you connect this this point
Is it looking like something that my form? <laughs> is it looking like something that my form this already? So it's from this that we got this. So we are getting there. So now let's go. So the last part is just the ending part. That one is very easy. From here, just draw like a semi. You place a ruler as if you want to draw a triangle. So you just bring it that. You don't make it too too distant. So Yes, so as you can see, this is the skeletal part of the croquis. This is already forming our um, our croquis already. So after we have done this part, we want to, to put the hand, the skeletal part of the hand too. So all you just need to do is, from this point, you just come in a little bit, just a little bit though. You just come in a little bit and just mark this small line. For me, come in a little bit, just a little bit, then mark that line like that. Then you are going to do something like this. You are going to do that. From that place that you mark, you place your ruler like so. You get place your ruler like this. But you won't make it, it will not be too far from the hip, the ruler. Don't make it too far from the hip and so you, you are just going to just draw your pink line. So the line will stop somewhere around the, the laps like this. You see where where your hand usually gets to when you put your hand down. When you are when you are putting your hand down, when your hand gets to. You know, when you are standing up, your hand reaches somewhere around your lap. So that's where you're going to put it. So now, we're getting there little by little. So basically, from these two parts, where this line meets, this is your waistline. Here yeah, exactly. Where these two lines, where they meet, that's your waistline. So you are going to trace that part. You are going to trace that part. Hmm? to the I'm going to trace it to this place so here you mark like a big circle here so that's your waist so you are going to write your waist this part this is your waist you know that when you hold your elbow if you try doing your hand like this sorry I hope you can get it if you try doing your ladders or you stretch it your elbow is sitting around your waistline, if you can see. So, this is your elbow. This is your elbow. This is the elbow. Do we get it? So, this is your waistline. So, from here, so you measure what you have from here to that elbow part. Because the distance between the shoulder and the elbow is the same between the elbow and the wrist. The distance between the shoulder and the elbow is the same thing between the elbow and the wrist. So you mark what you have from here to the elbow. You measure what you have from here. Like this. So the elbow. This is around 1.5 inches. So you take the same thing. You mark it. You mark it here. Can you see? So you mark the 1.5 inch. Can you see? Then here you draw a small circle. Do we get it? Here you draw a small circle. And from here.
you connect so from here you connect to the edge of the shoulder like this from here you connect like this then you come out you come out then you connect like this then you connect The next like that. So from here we want to draw the the hand. So you draw like a triangle. So now you do it. Let me get closer so that you can see. So for drawing the hand, you draw like this. You do like this. You do like this. Then do like that. So remember we are still the, drawing the skeletal parts. Again, draw a big circle. So exactly what you did, you do it on the other side too. So just connect. Connect like this. Connect like this. Connect like that. Connect like that. About the skeleton, sorry, about the skeletal part of our croquis. So you can see we are getting there little by little. This is the part where it gets interesting. Can you see we have the skeletal part of our croquis? So this is where this class will end today. I'm going to give you an assignment. You're supposed to do this and so means before we start the class tomorrow. So from here, we continue to draw out this. Do you get? Like I said, this is the basic. This is the most. This is where you're supposed to start from if you want to learn fashion illustration. You're supposed to be able to draw some basic things. This is where you put your dresses. At the end of the day, with much trials and practicals, you should be able to do things of this sort. Can you see? So, yeah. Do have a lovely day. Please submit your assignment. Let me see what you have done. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. You can ask me. Bye.